You know that sound. The Blue Angels will be roaring back into the Bay Area next week. Fleet Week kicks off next Monday. San Francisco's celebrations of the nation's armed forces, the largest in the country, and KPX5 is the broadcast sponsor for Fleet Week and for the next few weeks. And we'll be bringing you special stories. Now, the Bay Area is full of military landmarks from the Presidio to Mare Island. So we wanted to begin our coverage of Fleet Week with a little look back. KPX5's John Ramos takes us on a tour of the richest region's military past. California, it's really welcome home. When Admiral Bull Halsey made a triumphant return under the Golden Gate Bridge after World War II, it was perhaps the most climactic fleet week in history. But the history of the military in the Bay Area started long before that, when the Spanish accidentally wandered into the Bay and instantly realized its value. And it was decided uh, to establish a permanent army post in 1776. They called it El Presidio de San Francisco, and historian John A. Martini says with the mile-wide Golden Gate being the only opening to the bay, it made for a perfect military situation. You put cannons on both sides of the entrance so any bad guys that tried to sail in, they'd be caught in a crossfire. You control the entrance to the Golden Gate, you control the whole harbor. The territory passed from Spain to Mexico to the United States, but in 1849, everything changed. Gold was discovered. That explosion in uh, economics and people wrought by gold, that's what led for the U.S. government to say, we got to defend this. So they began building forts, a lot of them, and the Presidio was expanded. By the Civil War, Fort Point, at what is now the western end of the bridge, was a large brick fortress bristling with cannons, and the battery on Alcatraz could hit any ships trying to reach the city. Uh, the bay was well guarded by all of this heavy artillery, but uh, much of it became obsolete fairly quickly. So the cannons got bigger, although they were never actually used. But then, in 1941, an event that rocked the country and the world. Bomb went down a smokestack of the Arizona and exploded the forward magazine. With the attack on Pearl Harbor, America was suddenly in a world war, and the Bay Area became the most important spot on the West Coast. Overnight, small towns like Richmond, Alameda, and Vallejo boomed with the war effort as tens of thousands of people arrived to build, outfit, and repair ships. And then there was Mare Island. If you were in the Navy, you knew about Mare Island. Dennis Kelly with the island's historic park foundation says it became an invaluable location for repairing and resupplying ships fighting in the Pacific theater. But it was in constant fear of attack. The old bomb shelters still exist along Railroad Avenue. But Mare Island also holds the distinction of being the oldest Navy base in the West, established in 1853 to help protect the gold trade. Yeah, this was the beginning of the Navy's history uh, in the Bay Area and it continued all the way through till the Navy departed in the late 1990s. The war was eventually won, only to be followed by other conflicts, including Vietnam. But that war turned public sentiment against the military, and with the development of more modern defense systems, the old bases began shutting down. At the museum aboard the USS Hornet in Alameda, docent Don Tab walks among the vintage aircraft, tangible reminders of days gone by. This place will take from World War II up through Vietnam and let you look at, feel, and get engaged with history. There are a lot of places throughout the Bay Area where you can do just that, engage with a military history that transformed the world inside the Golden Gate. In San Francisco, John Ramos, KPIX 5.